Hi, I'm David Weeb with Thornhill Real Estate Group. Going to be talking about the Squamish real estate market and what happened in 2017. In a nutshell, so it was a very strong market, a lot of sales, $517 million of real estate sold last year in 2017. That was up 20% compared to last year and up 33% compared to the year before that. Looking at the number of sales, it was up 10% compared to last year, but it was actually down compared to two years ago. So in 2015, actually had more, uh, a higher number of sales than, than 2017 did, even though the dollar volume of sales was up 33%. And that's just because of higher prices. So when we look at prices, uh, we look at the HPI benchmark price, which is essentially just an average price of a detached home in Squamish, uh, actually breached the $1 million mark late last year, sitting at a million and 15,000. Compare that to 850,000 the previous year and 650,000 the year before that. So we're seeing large jumps in, in average prices. A lot of that has to do with inventory or the lack of inventory. So we finished off 2017 with 120 total active listings. When we compare that to five years ago in like 2012, when it was sitting over 450, um, it's quite a difference. And we've just been watching a steady decline ever since then. Uh, looking at the average days on market, it averaged out to be about 30 days. So from the time something was listed to the time it was under contract, um, for all the listings, for all, all the sales, what did it average out to is about 30 days. It's a pretty tight market. When we look at the sales to active ratio, or it's also called the months of inventory ratio, uh, what this looks at is out of the total number of listings, how, much, how many of those sold that month? So it averaged out to 33, sorry, 32% for 2017, which is exactly the same as it was in 2016, but lower than it was in 2015 when it was 37%. Uh, so really what that means is if we had no more listings, it would take about three months for the inventory to run dry. But that's still a very, very much a seller's market. So anything above 20% is a seller's market. Anything between 12 and 20% is a balanced market and below 12% is a buyer's market. So obviously we're still well into the seller's market. 2017 ended off really strong. Um, I have a feeling that was a lot, a lot to do with the new mortgage rules coming out in January of 2018, buyers all trying to get in before those new mortgage rules. Um, but we'll just have to wait and see how 2018 plays out. Uh, we'll have to see where the buyers are coming from. We'll have to see if these no more new mortgage rules affect uh, investor buyers. And it will be uh, it will be a very interesting year to, to, to be in real estate and to watch what's going on. I hope this has been informative. You can send me an email with any questions, david at davidweeb.ca. Thanks for watching.